Hi, this is Kurt Benick. We're here at the 2017 World of Concrete Show with Bill McEwen, Freightliner, and we're standing in front of a uniquely fitted 114 SD. Can you tell me a little bit about this truck and sure what can. we have going on here? Sure can, Kirk. Thanks, thanks again for coming to the show. Uh, we have a 114 SD here powered by our Detroit Diesel DD13, married up to an Allison transmission. Uh, and on the back side, it has this wonderful uh, 38 meter uh, concrete boom. It's a Z boom, so it, it actually kind of knuckles out like, like, your, like your arm does. Um, wonderful setup. It's got the uh, 46,000 pound rear axle with a, with a pusher axle in front. Great entry and exit, uh, uh, entry egress into the truck. Excellent visibility. Great maneuverability with the up to 20 degree wheel cut on the front axle. 20,000 pound front axle on this particular truck as well. Um, our friends at Alliance who built the, uh, the pump on the back, uh, we have a great working relationship with Alliance. They work closely with our dealership in, in, in Western Canada. And uh, we put a lot of options and a lot of content into the chassis to enable them to upfit that in a timely fashion. So it actually reduces their throughput time mm -hmm. in the manufacturing process. So if, if they continue to build on Freightliner trucks, they can build one or two more trucks a year with the time that they, they save on our product. Okay, it's quite the time savings. Is there any other unique features that make the 114 SD particularly well suited for concrete pumping applications? Well, traditionally, a, a concrete pump in the past has been on a, on a cab over yes. application. And ever since we went to the new emission standards mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, after treatment devices on the cab over, that was on the back of the cab. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, on, on a pump, they wanted to get as close as they could get to the job. Okay. And in a conventional cab, we had all of that engine out front. Nice. Now that they have the emissions back a cab on a cab over, realistically, we're not really losing any space at all. It's only about 12 to 14 inches. Okay. And the flex boom on the end of the pump really takes up any of that space where they would have lost having, having a conventional hood. So realistically, there's really no difference. Not only that, there's a huge cost savings for them to go to one of our Freightliner M2s, a 108 or a 114 SD. So it sounds, with the, it sounds like with the latest emissions changes, the concrete, how you spec a concrete pumper, you really need to carefully consider the changes. Oh, absolutely. Every inch of space that you lose back a cab yes. is, is, is weight transferred. Weight transfer is everything. If you can't get enough weight on the front axle, where does it ha has to go on the back axle? So weight, weight and space is very critical in this application. And it sounds like this particular customer you said is in Western Canada? This particular end user, is in Pennsylvania. Okay. This truck is sold to wheelers in, in Pennsylvania. Alliance Concrete Pumps is, is out of uh, Alder Grove, British Columbia, which is Western Canada. Okay, do you have a lot of involvement with the Canadian market? Yes, absolutely. My, my role for, uh, for Freightliner is uh, Western Canada, so I'm responsible for vocational sales for the entire half of, half of Canada. How sales been working in Canada this year? Well, I'll tell you, uh, our market share has grown uh, immensely. We have six super six segments that we, we talk about in the vocational business. We, are, uh, we're, we hold the number one position in four of those six super six segments in Western Canada. The things that we do at Freightliner has allowed us to get, get to those positions and hold them uh, because of the options that we offer our, our, our bodybuilders and our upfitters and our customers. The, the, the ease of upfit, the, uh, the time that it takes to push the truck through, through production, and the dollar savings for our customers at the end. So it sounds like one of, one of the key Freightliner's advantages is really that time between you order the truck and you get the truck delivered. You've really been able to manage that. And Absolutely. So what we like to do is, as the truck is going through the manufacturing process, before it even gets there, we're talking with the, with the bodybuilders or the Thames to ensure that the fuel tank's in the right spot or the def tank's in the right spot or that we punch the frame rails so that they can add their body components quicker. So we do all that in advance. So the actual truck leaves the factory pretty much prepped, ready to go right to the bodybuilder. Minimizes the work by the, by the outfitter. And, okay. Time is money, money is everything. And when you're competing against other manufacturers, if you can save 500 hours, 50 hours, 10 hours, that makes your, your product more competitive. Well, thanks a lot for the information. Thank you, appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks.